What are we going to be looking at here are improvements and replacements for property, plant, and equipment. Now an improvement is the substitution of a better asset for an old one here and a replacement is the substitution of a similar asset for an old one. And the question we have to ask ourselves on these improvements and replacements here, does the expenditure increase the future service potential? or does it merely maintain the existing level of service? Now if the service potential is increased then you would capitalize it and the accounting can be handled in one of three ways which we're going to be looking at here. So let's look at our example here. We have a building that's constructed here in 1991 and then 20 years later here in 2011 here we're going to uh, replace the old roof here with a new roof. So the building's going to get a new roof here 20 years later. So for our uh, building that was constructed here in 1991 we have a cost on it at $4,800,000, dollars estimated life here at 40 years at the time, salvage value we have at none here, or zero. And then uh, the building's depreciation on a straight line basis, we'd have its cost here of $4,800,000, less the salvage value here of zero, divided by its life of 40 years, we're going to come up with a depreciation here of $120,000 per year on this building on a straight line basis. Now looking at our uh, new roof here and our old roof, now usually when you're doing these uh, improvements and replacements, it's difficult to put up or determine the value of the old asset here. But for our example, and we're going to be just, uh, we've given here the cost of the, in this case, the old roof at $360,000 and our cost in a new roof here is $600,000 and the estimated life here is 25 years. So what we've done here, this building has a remaining life here at 25 years and then the service potential has been increased. So for our example, uh, this, uh, this Example here for this new rough here acts as both an improvement and a replacement. So let's go and look at how we cal capitalize this. Now we have these three different methods here. So we're starting with the substitution uh, method here. So if the cost of the book value of the old asset can be determined, then you remove the old asset uh, and replace it with the new asset here on your books here. So uh, first let's just look at, uh, we have to calculate a loss here for this um, replacement or the substitution. So we have the old roof's cost here at 360000 and then accumulated depreciation here, uh, $180,000. So all I've done here is I've taken the $360,000 cost here, uh, original cost divided by 40 years, and that's going to give you 9000 per year. And then we've depreciated it here f for 20 years from 1991 to 2011. So uh, that amount here is going to give us total accumulated depreciation here of $180,000 and subtract that here from the old roof's cost here. We got a book value or carrying value of $180,000. Uh, zero cash received so in this way we can look at it as a loss here of $180,000. Okay now for our journal entries here. So uh, for our cash account here for our new roof we credit that or reduce our cash account here for the cost of a new roof at $600,000 and and then for our building account here, this is the building constructed in 1991. This is where we do our remove the old uh, asset here and replace it with the new asset here. So our building here, uh, we had a debit amount here for the cost of the building at $4,800,000. And this is where we would credit our building account here by $360,000 to remove this old roof here. And then we'd be debiting our uh, building account here by $600,000 uh, for the value of the new roof here. Okay, and, and that's on our balance sheet here. Now on our income statement. This is where we would recognize a loss here on the disposal of the old roof. So we would be debiting uh, this loss uh, by $180,000 that we calculated up here. And then, uh, and what we would do here uh, for our other balancing entries here on our accumulate, we, accumulated depreciation here, uh, we would be debiting that here for the cost, the, 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 the loss here on this old roof here, or the depreciation on our excuse, accumulated depreciation here on our old roof, excuse me. And that was simply the uh, $360,000 cost of the old roof here, uh, and the 20 of the 40 years that we depreciated it here for $180,000. So the, we have our accumulated depreciation here, a debit of $180,000, uh, 
dollars and the debit amount here on this loss of 180,000 balances with our building uh, our um, uh, credit here to our building our reduction on our building account here for the old rough of $360,000 and then again our accumulated depreciation here for the building itself was $2,400,000 that was simply the four a 0.8 million here uh, over the 20 of the 40 years here for 2.4 million dollars. Okay, now let's look at the second method here that we could use here. So this is where we capitalize the new cost and keep the carrying amount of the old asset on the books. This assumes that the old item is sufficiently depreciated, which is not always the case. And this is the case that we're looking at. Our old roof here wasn't sufficiently depreciated, but nonetheless, we'll keep it on the books. So all we would do here is, again, just credit our cash account for the new roof here, $600,000. And then we, on our building account here, uh, we would do is debit that here or increase our building account here for this new rough here at six hundred thousand dollars so we've just increased our building uh, account here from 4.8 million here to 5.4 million and that includes where we capitalize this new rough here okay now let's look at the third method here this is where we uh, charge accumulated depreciation here in the cases where it does not improve the quantity or the quality of the asset but instead extends the useful life of the asset this is where you would recapture some past depreciation so again our cash account we credit that here for the six hundred thousand dollars for the cost of the new rough here and then in our accumulated depreciation this is where we would reduce our accumulated depreciation by the cost of that new rough here so we debit our accumulated depreciation here for six hundred thousand dollars and we were sitting here with a credit amount here for the building itself at 2.4 million or two million four hundred thousand so we reduced it by six hundred thousand so we have a net amount here in accumulated depreciation of one million eight hundred thousand dollars so now uh, this is where the net carrying amount of the asset is the same whether it's debited to the asset account or you're debited to your accumulated depreciation. So we just looked at our three different methods here for um, capitalizing this this new rough or this new asset here that we replaced it with the old asset. And these were the three different methods here. The substitution method, the capitalizing cost of the new uh, asset here in the new roof, and also this is where we charged accumulated depreciation here for the capitalized cost.